Um, I want to talk for a few a few minutes. Call us up higher. Now I was thinking last week I was talking to Brother Tony about this calling up higher. You do realize in order to do that you're going to have to be higher, right? You don't stay on the low lines and call somebody up higher when you're down lower. But anyway, I was thinking about this. You know the. This, this aspect of the kingdom that there's always a higher place than where you're at right now. See, why? Because cause Jerusalem, remember God situated Jerusalem to where you always had to go up to get to Jerusalem. And Deuteron- Deuteronomy 121 says, Behold, the Lord thy God has set the land before thee. Go up and possess it. It's what If you're going to have it, you're going to have to go up and possess it. You're going to have to enter into it. Or he told them to walk around. This was, scope it out. See what's there. Because when you see it, if you have a good heart, see you're going to desire it. Come on up. Come up higher. Now, go up and possess it as the Lord God of thy fathers has said unto thee, Fear not, neither be discouraged. There's no reason to be discouraged when you're going up to meet with the Lord. See, all good things. You're only going to see good things when you come up, even if it's an exhortation. It's going to be good for you. Never going to go up and meet with the Lord and it can come down and say it was, I wasn't benefited. The Lord schooled his people. He's taught them that there's benefits to be had when you meet with the Lord, when you, when you come up higher. You've you got to leave some things behind in order to come up higher. You can't come up higher and stay where you're at. You've got to come up higher. And um, we've already had a good, good beginning. Um, remember Moses said unto the people, now they've already sinned. They've sinned a great sin. They're down at the bottom of the mountain. They were at the bottom of the mountain, and they sinned a great sin. Moses said, you have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. I shall make an atonement, peradventure. I shall make an atonement for your sins. So I, I, I just was musing on that, how Moses had to get out of that environment, had to go up, meet with the Lord, but it was on their behalf. I thought, see, people have been laboring this week in the word and in the doctrine. They've gone up, and now you're going to benefit from it today. Today they're going to speak the things that they've seen and heard, and I'm calling this up higher. Be ready to hear. Be ready to participate. Be ready to receive these things because they've been prepared in high places. Now, this aspect, too, uh, Sister June brought up the, the, the free will of man. Now, listen to this from Ezra. Did Remember the king, this is what he said to Ezra. I make a decree that all they of the people of Israel and of the, his priests and the Levites in my realm, which are minded of their own free will to go up to Jerusalem, go with thee. Think about this. This is a heathen king, but he's saying, you know what? Anyone who wants to come up or go up to Jerusalem with you, they can go. So today, as we, we come together, we've gathered together. You had a desire to be with the Lord. See now, this is a good desire, in other words. It's a good, only the ones that wanted to go went. So technically, you're going to get what you want. You come here today to be blessed. You come here today to, to go up to the mount of the Lord and, and see him, some new aspect of his glory, some new aspect of Christ and his person and who he is. As you engage that, the Lord will be with you as long as you're with him, right? Now, this is an ascent away from what binds or hinders you. See, you ascend the hill, of the Lord. You go up. And when you do, you leave back behind technically everything you, you can't bring with you anyway. Mm-hmm. See, it, but see that how it's accentuated? You, you, you go up, you ascend. Now, you know, anybody who's ever done any climbing, this is difficult. This is going to be some, you're going to have to use some muscles that maybe you don't use in an everyday experience when you ascend the hill of the Lord. You're going to go up. All right. There's a technic, technically everything God has that's good is up. <laughs> it's not, Jesus said, it's not, it's not of this world. It's of another world, see? So Jesus came, he came down to bring us up. Well, let us go up. God had, um, 
Remember he gave, gave um, John, here John's, I, and there's one sense, you couldn't get any lower than where John was at on the earth. Here he is on an island. He's exiled on an island. The people, you know how much you want people to receive you. They didn't receive him. They, they, we don't want to hear this man speak anymore. Put him off on an island. This is what he said. The Lord was still with him. He says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And look at this. After this, I looked and behold, a door was open, but it was in heaven. <laughs> it was in heaven. There was an open door. And the first voice which I heard was aware of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither. Now, we, we've come here because we, to some degree, you've heard the voice. Amen. Come up hither. Remember, he said, I'll be like a voice that's behind you. Say, go in this direction. You come up. Why? Why? Why would you want to come up? And I'll show thee things which must be hereafter. You're going to get some things that you don't know when you come up and meet with the Lord. Let us go up to Zion. This is, um, we've had to, to suffer through the lowlands now for a time. If be, you, you have to suffer through manifold temptations, but see, you have to suffer through it. But as you keep the homeland in view, as you, as you set your mind on things that are above, above things, <laughs> where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. See, as you set your affection on things above, what happens? These things down here, these light afflictions, you see them for what they are, just a momentary. Just a moment, a space of time, just a little bit. But in the end, everlasting life. See, we've, we're ascending we're ascending. We're going up to meet with the Lord. Well, in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. That's Micah. Top of the mountains. We, that's where we want to be. He's given us, he's equipped us, he's given us hinds feet so that we can traverse this rough terrain to make our way to the top of the mountain. I'm, I'm coveted with my own heart to not be content with the lowlands. You know, you find it, these are comfortable places for the flesh. The lowlands are. There's not, not a lot of obstruction. But see, we've been called away. To separ separate yourself. Come out from among them and be separate. He'll give you feet like hinds feet, and you'll find yourself on the high, way up high, where um, a lot of flesh can't live. You get up high enough, flesh that it just can't ha hang on anymore. It's got to die. So you come up higher, you're giving your wings of an eagle to run on the ground. No, to soar <laughs> up in the high. Come up higher. Now as we consider today the things the Lord has abundantly provided through his ministers, those, those ministers that he's given to us. And I was, I was considering this, how many, you know, it, it, it's, it's a good practice sometimes just to sit and jot down the things that you've seen in other people that have ministered to you. Because it's amazing how many, you know, it's like that song, Count Your Blessings. It's how many things that each one of you have given me. It's just amazing. To, but God's given you ministers whereby you believed. He's given you ministers to build you up in the most holy faith. So see, as, as we do this today, as we come together, let us continue to, to ever make our ascent, to keep going higher and higher and building on what? Others have provided for you. See, they give you something. Don't let it fall to the ground. Add it to your faith and keep progressing higher. Well, Amen. let's um, have a word of prayer. Start this meeting off.